Hey guys, this is another tutorial from Tutorials of VB6. In this episode, we are going to show you how to work with timers and labels and a few buttons. Alright, first of all, let's start off our application with a standard EXE. And we're going to lay down three labels. One. Two, three. Okay. Now then, let's go ahead and add three timers. One, two, three. All right, and we're going to use a button. Actually, we're going to put two buttons down. Bam. Resize the button to make it look better. Okay. Alright, now then. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to label our, or change the names of our timers. Timer 1 is going to be renamed to timer label 1. The next timer is going to be Oops, sorry. Next timer, timer two is going to be TMR label two, and the third timer is going to be TMR label three. Go ahead and change the interval to, uh, I'd say about one thousand, which is one second. One thousand. 1,000. Alright. 1,000 is every second. Just so you know for the interval for timers. And what we're going to do is high, scroll your mouse over all the timers and go ahead and change enabled true to enabled false. <clears throat> so that we can later on call or enable these timers with our buttons. Alright. Now then let's go ahead and change our command 1 button to btn uh, start and change the caption to start and change the second button command 2 to btn stop command or caption I'm sorry uh, bt or I'm sorry stop and change our label to label 1 label 2 just space them out a little bit so we know which one is which. Okay, now we've got that all uh, squared away. Let's go ahead and resize our form just a tiny bit more. Okay. Bam. Alright, now let's go ahead in our start button, double click it. Alright, now for our first line of code, we're going to type TMR uh, label 1 enabled equals true. TMR label 2 enabled equals false. TMR label 3 enabled equals false. This is basically saying that when we want to start our button, or when we click the start button, we're going to go ahead and enable, enable uh, label 1 which shows label 1 oh yeah I'm sorry go back to your form and highlight all the labels and go ahead and change their visibility true to visibility false that way we can also uh, make our timers generate uh, the visibility for each individual label now go back into our start button alright now We've got our label one enabled and the other two timers disabled. Now we go back to our form and let's go to our stop button. Let's go ahead and copy all the code from our start button to our stop button and change all of these to false. And we're also going to disable all the uh, labels visible 
equals false label two visible equals false label three visible equals false okay this basically says okay we're stopping the program and we're going to not let it do anything until we click start again now go back to our main form again and double click on TMR label one in this we are going to type label one visible equals true and label two visible equals false label three visible equals false let's go ahead and copy this code that we just typed out in label uh, one timer go back to our main form oh yeah I'm sorry go back to uh, timer label one enable TMR label two equals true but also let's go ahead and disable timer label one false now what label one timer is doing here is we're disabling label two and label three yet we're keeping label one visible or we're going to enable the visibility for label one and for TMR label one which is our timer we are setting that to false to where it doesn't re uh, keep going every second and then we're going to go ahead and enable TMR label 2 which means uh, it's going to enable uh, the next timer that we're going to code up in a second so let's go ahead and copy this code real quick go back to our main form let's go ahead and click on TMR label 2 now let's go ahead and like I said copy the uh, the uh, code that we did in TMR label 1 and go ahead and paste it in our TMR label 2 alright now in this we're going to change label 1 visible to false and we're going to change label 2 dot visible equals true instead of false and we're going to keep label 3 visibility to false as well and we're also going to change uh, TMR label uh, 1 to TMR label 2 dot enabled equals false and then we're going to go ahead and change this to TMR label 3 enabled equals true now just like before we're in it we are disabling this timer that we just coded this one and we're enabling label 3 now that, that part's done let's go ahead to our label or our timer 3 same code just go ahead and copy and paste it all right label one equals visible visibility I'm sorry visibility equals true let's change out the false go ahead and keep label two to false and change label three to true now we're gonna change uh, that to false or we're gonna change TMR label two to TMR label three that means we're disabling this timer and we're going to restart our timer label one which basically redoes the cycle that we've just done alright now that that is all done everything should be working let's go ahead and test that test it out label one is enabled label three label one label two label three label one label two label three and then let's go ahead and click our stop button it stops every single timer that we just created and it's also disabled the labels that flash each time a timer is enabled alright that's the end of this uh, tutorial and I really hope this video helped you uh, post comments subscribe you know all that stuff alright hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching